Hey guys, what's up? This is Ugly Kid back with another video. And before this video gets started, please leave a comment down below. That would be awesome because I make reading your comments videos. So if you guys leave a comment on this video or any other video, it'll go into reading your comments video 100% guaranteed. So please, please go ahead and do that. Um, but today we are going to be getting into more news. This week had uh, more news with it. A little less um, news than the previous uh, like three weeks or whatever. But there is still quite a bit of news, so um, let's get right into it. Alright, we're gonna get right into the news. Hope you guys uh, like the intro. It's a little bit different. Um, uh, that's probably just gonna be the intro for the rest of this offseason um, because Akeem Talib is gone. A whole bunch of the players that's kind of an outdated intro now are gone. TJ Ward's there um, and uh, DeMarcus Ware. Um, so, and then it's kind of, I guess it's good to have a new intro for the offseason. I'll probably. I'll definitely be sh changing it um, again when the new season starts because it's, I don't know, it's not as good as the um, other one, but I think we'll just keep it uh, to that intro during the off season. But uh, getting right into the news, the uh, uh, first news I have is the Jaguars are cutting Alan Hearns, the wide receiver. Um, this is a this is kind of a big deal because um, Jaguars have just been uh, getting players during the off season. And uh, they're gonna have to let Hearns walk, so uh, not it's not all positive for Jaguars fans. And then um, next new story is the Raiders are trading fullback. Uh, Jan I I really can't I can barely say this guy's name. Um, J Jasmine Al Oswali something like that. Um, he he played a decent amount this year. Uh quite a bit for fullback, but he's going to be traded um, to the Cowboys along with a sixth-round pick in exchange for a fifth-round pick, so, um, yeah, you, you got that. <laughs> All right, this is one of the other really big news stories is Matthew Slater signs with the Patriots. Um, this is, uh, I guess, a replacement for Julian Edelman, or not Julian Edelman, Danny Amendola, so uh, I think that's a good pickup by the Patriots. All right, so this next story is about the Buffalo Buffalo Bills wide receiver Zay Jones, and he was arrested on a felony uh, charge of vandalism in um, L.A. on Monday night. So um, that's not good for the Bills, I guess. And then um, Marte Martellus Bennett says he's unsure if he's going to be playing football um, in 2018. So this uh, he. Yeah, I guess he's just unsure that he's going to keep playing. And then, um, this is kind of an interesting, um, story. Nindalma Kasi was released one or, I think, two weeks ago? I don't know. But, um, he, um, has been visiting teams, and he, um, was going to visit the Raiders, but then he canceled the visit and returned home. Um, I'm guessing that, that he's just needing to think over, um, his, um, his options right now, so I guess that's why he didn't visit the Raiders. I don't know. Um, yeah. And then the Giants are, um, this is the probably the biggest trade of the week. Um, and it's the Giants are trading Jason Pierre Paul to the Buccaneers for a 2018 third round pick. I think the Buccaneers win this trade. He's a very good um, defensive end. So I think that the yeah I think the Buccaneers are definitely winning this trade. I think they could have maybe get it got a second round pick out of them at least, but nope. And then news uh I guess this is pretty much the only Broncos news is that Osweiler w visited the Dolphins. Um, well I mean it's not really totally Broncos news, but Osweiler is former Bronco, but he is going to be visit he visit he visited the dolphins on thursday so the dolphins are i guess looking for backup and the other uh dolphins news story of the day is that they are going to be signing frank gore frank gore is not retiring yet he's staying in the league still 
and he is going to pay, be playing for the Dolphins now on a one-year deal. So this might be his last year. I, I, I don't know. I thought it's been his last year for quite a few years. So kind of funny. And then um, Jackson, uh, the wide receiver, Alan Hearns, the one uh, that got released before, is uh, signing with the Cowboys. So um, uh, I went from the top of the list of what happened this week to the bottom. So as you can see... Um, Allen Hearns is now on the, the Cowboys, uh, so that's a big pickup, big wide receiver pickup there. And then um, this is another, the Browns, man, the Browns might be legitimate this year, and, and that's because they just picked, well, because of all their previous stuff that they've done this offseason, but they also are picking up EJ Gaines, um, the so that's just insane. He's a great cornerback. Um, so uh, the Browns are definitely, I think, definitely aren't going to be the worst team. That's all I can guarantee. But I, I don't know. They have a lot of new players, so they might um, not play all well together their first year. So all I know is they're going to be better than the worst team. But um, I, I, I think maybe in the 2019 season, they'll be really good or something. I, I don't know, but man, another huge pickup for the Browns. They are going to be legitimate next year. All right. So that's going to be the end of this one. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit shorter, but a little bit less news. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of what happens. Um, this next week, I don't know if there will be enough news because the news is kind of, uh, coming to stop. So if there isn't enough news, I'll either be releasing um, a little compilation of my dog or a reading your comments video. And then um, if I, for example, if I re, uh, do a reading your comments video the next week, if there's still no news, then it will be a video about my dog. And um, I have a calendar right here, so I'm checking. Actually, I don't know. Um, I, again, uh, there's going to be a vlog coming soon in April. Not quite sure when. Uh, I haven't marked out my calendar yet, that's why I don't know. Um, but yeah, those are things to be excited for for the channel. And uh, that's it for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Uh -huh. Tell them, Deborah Broncos, they the truth. Quick to hit you with the mind, I salute. Got the doubters and the haters on mute. From head to foot, drink down and orange and blue.